Fabian, while at UNC Charlotte, was an excellent student. He was involved in so many different activities on and off campus that I often teased him about finding time to sleep. To know Fabian is to love him. He's a born leader. He was well respected by his peers and any person that met him, you know what they say about first impressions being last impressions. Fabian had that outstanding personality um, that will let you know that Fabian is going places. And we are so, so proud of him. Um, I'm, I'm just happy to claim his, uh, him as a friend. Um, I want to say congratulations, Fabian, for having been nominated for this position. And kudos to the Alumni Association for having chosen him. He is well deserving of this honor. And again, congratulations. When I think about the greatest achievement or greatest moment at UNC Charlotte, they were just, to be honest, it was, they were chocked so full of so many during my experience that the only one that really seems fitting is the one that really culminated my whole experience. And that was actually uh, my graduation where I was uh, recognized as our 100,000th alum and I also uh, served as our commencement speaker. There was a huge transformation between the Fabian that entered uh, UNC Charlotte and the Fabian that exited UNC Charlotte. There seemed to be a disconnect with students coming into college and keeping the same focus on what they want to do after college. So that led to the, the us forming the United Black Professionals on campus to help fill that void and help connect people to their future uh, career success. So that was a, a big piece uh, for me in the diversity scene. And it really all started at UNC Charlotte. As I start putting things together as far as the point and the purpose of leadership, some of the issues we have in society and the lack of diversity. I just can't help but wonder how would things potentially be different if we had more diverse leadership, if we had different perspectives weighing in, different backgrounds weighing in on important decisions that affect us as a society. So that's something that when I think about diversity, it inspires me to really see what I can do to help move the needle and push that change. Our mission for the Black Googler Network is to be able to cultivate black leaders, empower communities, and transform technology. But when I think about communities, I think about social circles that we just happen to be a part of. So, for example, a uh, community that I belong to is the UNC Charlotte community. I also belong to a community of people that are from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I, involve, I belong to a community of 100 black men of Chicago, a community within Google. So many different communities and so many different social circles and no one's asking you for what you can't do but what you actually can do and every little bit counts and investing in your community whether it's UNC Charlotte or anywhere else can lead to that larger global impact that people are looking to have especially in our generation. <laughs>